So here's going to be a sample calculation for the pendulum. Let's assume that for 100 centimeters for the pendulum length I measured 40.8 seconds. And by the way, the 100 centimeters are not a rounded 100, um, but I tried to measure very accurately to two or three significant figures. So it's actually not 99 or not 101, but it's 100, and it kind of makes it two or three significant figures. Okay, in any case, I measured 40.8 seconds for 20 swings, which means the period of the pendulum going forth and back is 2.04 seconds after I divided by 20. And now I'm going to plug those two numbers into the calculator, and it's going to say that I have 4 pi squared divide by the period is 2.04 squared times the length is 100 centimeters and I come up with 949 centimeters per second squared. So that's how you would do the calculation and you can see that well you know I'm like 3 percent off or so but um, it's not that I came up with a totally goofy result, but um, it's, in the, it's a ballpark figure. It's, it's not very accurate, I have to say, though, but that depends on how accurate you're able to, to measure your time. Uh, and then in this case, you maybe could say, okay, I could make it more accurate by um, really paying close attention that I sure truly have 24th and back swings, and um, I tried to use a more accurate stopwatch. Okay any case, um, let's say these are the 11 results that I came up with, and now it says on the lab sheet, do the median of these. It doesn't say do the average, but it says the median. And that means kick out the five lowest one and kick out the five highest results. So let's see. The 913 definitely is low. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. And the 941 is. And the 949 actually that we just determined is I don't there we go and the 974 and the other 974 here and then kick out the five highest results obviously the 1051 995 992 988 and 978 and the one that is left, that's the medium, 975 centimeters per second squared in my example. And that's how you compute the median.